everybody. Um, so I'd like to start off by saying thank you to everybody who has subscribed recently. Um, hello, if you have, if you're new to watching the channel, hello. I've been seeing a lot of new uh, pe people, faces, new uh, comments. And so, yes, keep them coming. Love it. So uh, my first thing is, have you, have you, have, okay, so we're only, we're only a half a month into the new year. Um, how are you doing on your goals? So one of my goals was not spend any money until May. And I broke that. Now, most of you are probably thinking if you watch me, if you follow me on Instagram, that back there you'll see a speaker up on a post. You see there's a stick bot thing on top of it. Um, that I bought the posts or that I bought the speakers. Well, no, speakers are really old. I've had them for years. Um, but the, the posts are new. But I did buy them last year on a Boxing Day sale uh, from Red One Music, who I've bought for many times. So... No, what happened is, is I've been trying to make this particular video and I've been doing trying to do it at night because it's the only time that I have had to be able to do the videos and I have these lights. These are newer, these are newer CN 160s. Um, they're, they're really good lights. My only problem is, is that I, I never had a proper battery for it. So I've been, they run on six AA batteries or you get a proper battery. Finally, after getting frustrated because the one that I have hanging over here, just above me, to illuminate my face because it, and at, when I do this at night, it doesn't the, the the light above here does not help at all for anything. Um, I ended up going out and actually buying the charger and the batteries so that I could properly use these because I've been finding that. If one of the batteries, like a six, six double A's, if one of the batteries is low, it throws everything off and then it'll be on for a while and then it'll shut off. So I had to fix that. So I just wanted to say that. So yes, I did that this little bit. I don't intend to buy anything else. This was more out of frustration than anything else. So I did buy two batteries for my two lights. So these lights here. Um, I don't need them today. It's a beautiful sunny day. I thought I was going to because we're expecting a snowstorm, but no, so I don't need it right now. So let's talk about punching in and out. So go over to my, uh, go over to the screen here. I have the screen up. As you can see, I'm going to lift it up a bit here. It seems to be falling a bit. So as you can see, you can see that my voice, you can see my voice is coming through on the, on the thing here because I have my, I have my trusty microphone in front of me. Um, I have not started recording. I want, I'm going to start recording in a second, but I want to talk about, <coughs> excuse me, punching in and out. And so what, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the three different ways of doing it. Um, we're going to, the, the easiest way is simply you, you press play and you listen to what you're listening to. When you want to start recording it, you just push the record button. So, so you can't really see much from here. Oh, that's better. Uh, there we go. Push the record button and then, you know, you're recording. So I have not recorded anything yet. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to record. So as you know, to record, you need to do two things and I forgot to do one of them. So I'm redoing this. Um, you need to put it in a live mode so you can hear it. I think you can, you can hear me coming through there and I'm suddenly louder. All right. So, and then you push the record button down. I forgot to push the record button down. So on our screen here, you can see, you can see the meter coming up. I'm going to bring it just a little higher, just so it's a little louder. There we go. And I'm going to talk into the system. So let's talk. So I'm recording. I'm just recording straight from zero. We're going to go up to 30 seconds just so I have something to work with, a little space. So it's easy to do. So just all you got to remember is you have it live. And record now I know I've said that before I'm saying it again so that I fill up the space we're at 15 seconds great this is working out very well um, now we're at 20 and I'm just gonna keep talking keep talking keep talking keep talking and we are at 25 we're almost there we're almost there we're almost there 27 20 29 30 okay so let's stop her now all right so that's step one step one is we have a track recorded so now if I go back um, now this is this is let's we'll, we'll go straight on to step two. So this is for the first 
way of punching in and out, which is manual punching. There are two ways to manual punch. One is by simply pressing the record button. Whoops, right there. Whoops, stop. <laughs> Didn't want to do that. Oh, well. So pushing the record button. So this button right here or um, using a pedal. This is a cheap um, sustained pedal for a keyboard. All you need is just a straight quarter inch um, in out, or just ring tip, nothing, a ring sleeve, no tip. No, sorry, sleeve, tip, no ring. You always get that mixed up. So, so you don't need anything special to do this. It's very simple. Um, yeah, I'm getting plosives because I'm on this microphone here. So now what we do is we switch over to meter. Okay, so on your board, talk about that for a second. You, you, you know this, you have live PC and meter on all your channels and meter being multi-track recorder, I say meter, I have to get used to saying MTR or multi-track recorder. So you, what you wanna do in this case is since you're going to be punching in on top of it, you wanna go over to MTR. Now you still want the record button down. So I'm, doing, I'm on track one, I've now put the MTR button, or I've now switched it over to MTR, so it's working off the channel. The reason you do this is so you can hear what you're playing. So now I can just play it. I'm just recording straight from zero. We're gonna go up to 30 seconds, just so I have something to work with, a little space. And now I've pushed in the button to overdub over top of it, and I'm gonna show you how that works in a second. So there, I've just overdubbed. And then... Okay. This is working up. I had to, sorry. So to stop it, I thought you press record again, you don't. So you, you, you have to hit stop. So I didn't do that at first. So, so to overdub with your finger, if you want to call that, um, or your thumb or your toe, if you want, can get it up on the board. So you press play, you're playing your part. When you hit where you want to punch in, hit the record button. And then to, and then when you're done doing what you want to do, hit the stop button. So here we go. I'm just recording straight from zero. We're gonna go up to 30 seconds just so I have something to work with, a little space. And now I've pushed in the button to overdub over top of it. And I'm gonna show you how that works in a second. So there, I've just overdubbed. And then, it's great. This is working out very well. Um, now so there, you can see it came back. It came back with, this is great. So that's, that's step one. Now, step two is you use your pedal. So, um, easy to do. I'm just gonna undo my Velcro here on the pedal. And George is barking. So, now on the board, I have now undone it. So on the board, go up a bit here, right beside the control room is your foot switch. It may be different on on the 16 and the and the 12. I couldn't tell you. I'm not looking at them right now to see. I don't have my usual image up that I usually keep up for referencing. So I have now I have now put the pedal in. Okay, pedal's plugged in. Now you have to set the pedal. So click menu. I'll move the cable so you can see the screen a little bit better. Um, click, click menu to the point where you get the menu up because if you click menu you go through two different, three different settings here. Um, go over to, we're not going to worry about auto punch in this one. We're going to go to punch. Oh no, we're not going to worry about that. We are going to go down to system. Press the enter button, which is the top of the round button. Now we go down to foot switch, foot F SW. You want to make sure you are on punch in slash out. Now what that means is you are going to simply be punching in and out. Um, there's only three settings on the on this thing, so it's usually set for play, pause. Um, now you may have to change the polarity of your button and you hit the pull button. So it says you can have normal open, normally open, normally closed. So you decide what you want. Now, I have mine set to normally open because it is normally open. And so you can do it the other way where you close it and then it opens. So I'm fine with the way I have mine set. So now I've set the, I've made sure that the foot switch is set up correctly. I'm gonna start from the beginning again. 
I'm gonna use it in my hand this time. So you can watch me go. Watch me go. All right, so I've got it set up. So once again, make sure you're on meter or MTR on that channel that you're gonna overdub. Make sure the record is down. Now, there is a limit to how many things you can punch at the same time. I have not played with that yet. I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to try something here. I'm just going to hit and record and see what happens. Because I know in the book it said that there was a limit. And then again, there might not be because I'm pretty much pushing. Unless it's with auto punch. So I have now literally punched every single button on the, on the screen here. Every single button is lit up. Every record button is lit up. So I don't know. So we're not going to worry about that right now. I am now going back. So, all right. So I am now back on track one. The record button is on for track one. You hear the cables rubbing up against the springs on the on the bar here for the phone. So here's here we go. Ready? And we're going to start playing. Oops, right there. Whoops. I'm just recording straight from zero. We're going to go up to 30 seconds just so I have something to work with, a little space. And now I've... All right, I pushed the button. I am now covering, I am now over top, overdubbing what I had there. So I'm doing a punch in and I'm going to end it now. Working out very well. Um, and so yeah, that's, that works really well. That was like, it, it automatically took care of everything. It stopped it on its own, it, it saved it. So that what this means is that if you have like a huge song that you're working on, you will have to, if you're doing your punch-ins, you can only do it at one spot at a time. You can't like, you know, go, all right, so we did this part, hit record now and go on. I don't think you can count on the DP32 either, so. But either way, so let's give it a quick listen. Whoops, right there, whoops. I'm just recording straight from zero. We're gonna go up to 30 seconds just so I have something to work with, a little space. And now I've, all right, I pushed the button. I am now covering, I am now over top, overdubbing what I had there. So I'm doing a punch in and I'm going to end it now. Working out very well. Um, now we're at so, that's number two. So, foot switch. That's actually kind of nice if, you, if you're working with, you're working with uh, just, just you and you're doing like vocals or something and you want to just, you know, you made a mistake somewhere, you want to fix it, and you put it by your foot as you're singing, you just tap, ah, tap. So, that's number two. Number three, now we go back to the screen here. Gotta move the foot switch. This has nothing to do with the foot switch. I'm taking the foot switch out because I just don't want the cable to bug me anymore. All right. So once again, go to menu. This time we are going to we're gonna we're gonna look at two parts of this. So first off, we're gonna look at a punch pre-roll. Now, if you if you've ever used a DP3224, um, you know that you can set a pre-roll and a post-roll. So you say, um, play play the pre. Start from here, and then after so many seconds, punch in here. And so that, that, that's your pre-roll. And so that's, that's pretty much the same thing. Um, the highest you can go is 10 seconds. Uh, I think, I, I, I know you can't do 10 seconds on the DB32. I think it's like 9.9, .9, but either way, it's, it's negligible. So you can, so you can start it and then Say okay. Well, when you hit ten seconds, now this only works if this this doesn't all this doesn't always work for everything. So, you, like if if you if you're doing a punch in that's shorter than that starts, you know, like five seconds into the song, it's only going to give you five seconds. But it's saying that if I can give you ten seconds, I will give you ten seconds. So I'm gonna do ten seconds. I'm fine with that. So then we will go to the next part. We go up to auto punch. Auto punch is great. There's two ways to set this to, I should say. So as you can see on the top here, you have you have hour, minute, seconds, zero, zero. So it's giving you a tenth of a second to do. This is kind of your fine tuning auto punch. So if you if you want to be really strategic and say, okay, well I want to start at you know like you know like one one point five six seconds. I think it does that. Let's see. Yeah. See. So it goes up it goes up in tenths so if you want to be that that particular now this is this is more micro micro timing so this is like getting it right down to the letter and 
if you look, you see this little star on in. That means that if I if I select this one by pushing the button, it will put that time in. So in this case, it would be I'm starting right from the beginning, and then I'll move on to the next one. I'll move on to you know, and then I'll, I'll end it at this point. So that's what you're doing. You're certain you're setting the start and ending time. Now, if if you are like if you like, because this this will take you a while if you sit here and dial. If you have to go like a minute or something in. So it is much easier to do this. So go to your main screen. Now you're on macro where you're not you're not doing tenth of a second. Um, pick where you want to go. Now in this case, I'm going to say we're gonna go ten seconds in. Um, arbitrary number. Um, well, we'll do eleven seconds. Eleven seconds in. So it's going to start from a second after the beginning of the song, and then it's gonna go in. So. Now what I do is I go back into menu. So I got it 11 seconds here. Go back into menu. I'm still I'm on auto punch, so push enter. So as you can see now, it says 11.06 seconds. So you see the, you get to see the um, the macro or the micro in 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 there. So if you want to be if you if you want to be meticulous, there. Now I'm right at 11 seconds. So now I click the on or the I the sorry click the enter button and I can see it's put it in the in slot now I want to set the out so then there's there's some other things you can do here I'm going to show you for first so let's say you didn't you 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 don't want you want to clear this now you don't want to use it so hit CLR clears it out it's gone but I do want it in this case so now what you do to switch it to the out is you hit the IO button and now you can see the star is beside the out so let's go back um, in this case, I'm just going to use the micro thing. I'm going to go, because I'm just going to go five seconds in. So, so this is going to sound really weird when I play it back to you. So we're now we're, yeah, we're going to, we're going to have some fun. We're going to go at five. I'm not even sure. Okay. So it does up to third 29. Okay. So we're going to do five, five, 15. We're going we're gonna to end it at 15 seconds. Point to fifteen point two nine seconds. So now you click the enter button again. So the jog button down. Well, in this case, multi uh, multi jog. Um, now you need to turn it on. So click on the on button. So now you see it says a punch in there. Now if I exit, you will see you'll see like right if you look right under under the uh the you have your progress bar you see there's two lines there's lo look like bookends that tells you where you are where you are punching so the way punching works is you want to test it first so you want to make sure that your your punch is fine so you have two options in this case if you just want to like rehearse so you had the old rehearse button on on the uh dp32 you could also do play if you wanted so, just press play. So I'm now, recording straight from zero. see, as you can see, it jumped that whole beginning. Seconds, so I have something to work with, a little space. And now I, all right, I push the button. I am now covering. And as you can see, it, it killed, it kicked out. So it kicked out the song, and it, it it's, and it's flashing it's record. It, now it flashed record. I don't think it actually did record. I hope it didn't record because I didn't want it to. It might have recorded. Let's try that. I'm just recording straight from zero. We're gonna go up to 30 seconds just so I have something to work with, a little oh. space. I think it did record. Let me, <laughs> just give me a sec. I'm just recording straight from zero. We're gonna go up to 30 seconds just so I have something to work with, a little space. And now I've, all right, I pushed the button. I am now covering, I am now over top, overdubbing what I had there. So I'm doing a punchy. Okay, so no, it did not record it. If you wanna listen to it back after you've done it, uh, turn off the record button on on that channel and then you can hear what you did So it did not record it because I just pressed play. So there you go So if you want to rehearse press play and then it will cut at that point where you've told it to that you want to punch it and It'll come back in once once it's done. So now to to do an actual recording You push the record button. So we will start over the other nice thing is, is that if you are in the middle of the song So like I'm, I'm way over here and I want to re-record it. So as you can see in the progress bar, I'm way, I'm near the end of my, my recording. 
Um, as soon as I hit record, it because I'm in auto punch, it will automatically go back and then and then uh, come 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 full circle. And as you can see, it's got punch in ooh at the top there, so out the T got cut off. It's it tells you that it's what it's doing there. So let's let's work on it. So let's do it again. I'm just recording straight from zero. This time I press record. 30 seconds just so I have something to work with, a little space. And now I, all right, I push the button. I am now covering. And as you can see, it cut out. And this time the record button is red and it will die and it'll start talking. I'm going to end it now. So it, it did work. It, it's, so now if I play it again. I'm just recording straight from zero. We're going to go up to 30 seconds just so I have something to work with. Oh. Space. Hang on, sorry. i got to make sure it's not record, otherwise you're not going to tell that I'm I did anything. I'm just recording straight from zero. We're going to go up to 30 seconds just so I have something to work with, a little space. And now I've... All right, I pushed the button. I am now covering. And as you can see, it cut out. And this time, the record button is red, and it will... And I'm going to end it now. So, there you go. That's, that's the third way punch. That's auto punch. Um, generally, I do auto punch just because it's easier to use... Um, and a lot of the times, uh, it's just, it's, it's just easier to use cause then I don't have to think about, you know, okay, hit it and then do my thing. Um, some people like being more in control and that's why they would use manual or get a foot pedal. Like I said, you just need it. You need a cheap foot pedal. This, I think I paid $30 for this pedal. And, um, now granted that was, that was like four or five years ago. But yeah, you don't need anything special for to do the, the punching in and out or to have a foot switch on this. So that is my video today. Thank you for watching. Uh, it's starting to get a little dark out. Um, I think it just sun's under a cloud. So I will talk to you later. Bye.